Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I'm uh, Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Priming the Pump Edition. That's right. All right, kind of a weird Priming the Pump Edition. Yes, it is. We're not doing one whiskey on this one. Yeah. Uh, we're doing two that are comparable. Mm -hmm. So um, so we have the uh, the famous grouse. This yep. is the Smoky Black. Yep, the Smoky Black, which is supposed to be a peated whiskey, a uh, peated blend. So. Very similar to what Johnny Walker's got with a black label. Right. And uh, we apologize for the diminutures, diminisher size of this <laughs> bottle. <laughs> yeah, this was part of a pack that we have. We got an upcoming episode where we're going to explore like Johnny Walker. Yeah. So uh, we're really excited about that. But this is out of that pack. So, um, so we're going to do this two side by side. It's still a Johnny Walker black. So, yep. Now we've had Johnny Walker black in the past. So it's kind of a known commodity. Um, we've talked about it as well. This is one of those where it's pretty easy to find when you're traveling, you're on the road, uh, sit in an airport bar, your ch chances are pretty good you're gonna be able to find Johnny Walker Black. Uh, the Famous Grouse Smoky Black, we haven't tried that. Now we've had other products from Famous Grouse, the Naked Grouse being our favorite, I think. Um, but this one is new to us, so I'm going to be very interested in seeing how it stacks up to the Johnny Walker Black. For sure. And for those that, you know, like Johnny Walker Black, you know, we were, you know, we've been kind of led toward the, the famous grouse, yeah. saying it was kind of comparable. So we'll, we'll put that to the test tonight. Yep. Going to be very interesting. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get into it. Cool beans. All right. So 40% ABV in both cases. And uh, I was reading on the label actually, so what makes this one interesting is that it is the only blend that uses whiskey from Glen Turret, which they claim is the oldest distillery in Scotland. Oh, interesting. Now, I don't know now, Johnny much Wa about them. Yeah, Johnny Walker uses uh, blends from several distilleries um, mm -hmm. and, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty famous um, and uh, I don't know if they uh, actually advertise which ones they are, at least not on the bottle. But um, but it's I mean it's pretty famous and it's pretty famous for being very consistent. Yeah. So um, I'm really really excited to. Uh, Might as well pour both out yeah, that way. It can absolutely. Do a direct AB. Yeah. So I'm really excited to uh, you know see these side by side. And, yeah. Uh, no, I'm very curious to see how they stack up. Again, they're both they're easy to find. All right. So yeah, we're gonna stack them up side by side here. Da, da, da. Puppies are prancing. Five puppies prancing. There you go. So Johnny Walker on the left and Famous Grouse on the right. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. So, I mean, just right off the bat, I mean, they're very similarly colored. They are. Um, I, I mean, that's, I mean, that's almost identical. It really is. Okay. So this, I grabbed the Famous Grouse first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, now do an AB on that one. Oh, totally different. Yeah. So this is the the famous grass is sweeter. Um, has more candy notes on the on the nose. I get more like a peat earthiness on the famous grouse than I do on the uh, Johnny Walker. Oh yeah. Like a must. Yeah. 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 There's like a little. Yeah. There's a little funk going on yeah. in here. Yeah, it's a completely different than the uh, the Johnny Walker. Yeah, I think uh, both of them are, are fairly mild on the nose. I mean, really no, no alcohol to speak of, no burn, zip, spice, no edges whatsoever on the nose. But I will say there is a little bit more going on with the famous grouse, I think. I th <coughs> Excuse me, I think so. Now, what, I, what I'm getting on this, I mean, this one specifically, is I'm getting the, uh, uh, I'm getting a little bit of peat, mm -hmm. and uh, not, not a lot of smoke in this one, um, but I'm getting fruit notes in this, yeah. and I'm not getting them so much in here. Agreed. No, I'm so noticing that too. There, there's a sweetness in this one that, uh, I want to say is like, like pear. I would agree with that. Yeah, just very, very light, but yep. fruity, a little sweet. Get that earthy, that earthy undertone there. Yeah. And then on the Johnny Walker, now I'm getting a little a wisp of smoke in that. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's uh, a little more herbal. <coughs> oh, got an alcohol vapor on that one. I did not expect that. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more of that on the Johnny Walker than I do on the Famous Grass. A little, little oaky on that. Yeah. I'm, this one's oakier. It is interesting that you say that because for me, I wouldn't say this is... There's something to it that reminds me of some of the bourbon cask finish. Yeah. You know, where I don't get that with a famous grouse. No, no. All right, well, cheers. Uh, which one? Um, Let's go with Johnny first and then right. go to famous grouse. All right, cheers. Cheers. See, now that tastes familiar. Mm. You got the oakiness in there. You got a little yep. bit of the smokiness. Yeah. Um, a little wisp of, uh, of peat. But, uh, but, I'm, but I'm getting those candy notes. The buttered biscuit, yes. the uh, um, the caramel. I mean, like on the back end is like really mm -hmm. strong caramel. I mean, very familiar. I mean, comforting. Yeah. Easy to drink. Um, it's actually fairly interesting for a blend, really. Yeah. Um, having it neat. It's, uh, yeah, just the slightest bit of smoke on it. I agree. There's a little bit like of a, a candy note to it or a candy taste to it. Mm -hmm. um, interesting. It, I don't drink Johnny Walker Black meat very often. Um, every now and then I do, and it's interesting to come back to it and see what my tastes are this time around. Yeah, very true. Mm. Um, I, you know, I'm, this one surprises me a little bit too because I always go in with, you know, kind of an expectation where mm -hmm. it's. You know, kind of the, I don't know, lowest common denominator yeah. when it comes to when it comes to scotch, but you know, it is surprisingly complex. You know, stacked up against like Dewar's White Label mm -hmm. or something like that, this is far more adventurous to me than what Dewar's White Label would be. Right, it's still um, not challenging. No, it is by no means challenging. But, there's but there a, is more going on yes. than what you would normally expect from perhaps a blend. Yeah. There are there are layers and there's complexity to this, yeah. and um, it is a perfectly fine whiskey. Absolutely. Well, let's see what happens with the grouse. All right, let me uh, cleanse here. Yeah, I think that might be necessary. Again, there is definitely a like a malt funk and a uh, peat funk, funk on the grouse that I don't get on the Johnny Walker. Okay. So that's ashy. It is. You know what it reminds me of? of like an ashtray. Mm-hmm. No, you're absolutely right. It's like... Uh, you know, you get that smell off of an old, yeah. you know, old cigarette butts and stuff like that from an, an old ashtray. I'm, I'm getting that on here. Now, um, and it's more on the it's more on the nose now. Agreed. Um, but, I mean, behind that, you know, is... Um, it's not very sweet. No, it's um, not. I'm getting a little bit of fruit on there, but it's like um, like dried fruit, you know. Um, I'm getting um, dried fruit like like granola, but yeah, you know, uh, there's a there's a a grain quality to it. There's yeah, for me, it's I I'm with you on the ashtray thing. There's a part of this that just comes across like licking an ashtray. Yeah, a little bit. Um, it is. Um, there is like a like a candy note to it. I mm -hmm. can't quite figure out what it is, but it's it's in the background. The I would say on this one, not really getting anything in the way of smoke, but I'm getting some impact from the peat clearly. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it was like it's, it's like in that ashtray they had candy cigarettes too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, you know. Oh, and and maybe it's not. Maybe it's more specific. It's not like cigarette. It's like cigar ash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting cigar ash with that. By comparison, I think the flavors on the Famous Grouse are a little thinner than they are on the Johnny Walker. Um, this one comes across being far more subtle, not as complex, um, a little one-dimensional mm -hmm. by comparison. And yeah. it's, I could see where somebody who hasn't been exposed to peat might be a little put off by this because yeah, of that ash ashy nature. Yeah. Now, neither one of these whiskeys is terribly expensive. I no. think the uh, the Johnny Walker is 
35 40 bucks maybe no famous grouse smoky black is 27 27 yeah um yeah all right so um all right what do you think on our scale well of the two i mean i'm uh, personally i'm going to rank the johnny walker a little bit higher yeah um i'm going to go i'll see this is a tough one because by comparison i want to put it at a three in this group yeah but at large, I think I'd go two and a half on the Johnny Walker Black, and I think I'd go one and a half on the Famous Grouse Smoky Black. Personally, yeah, um, I'm uh, I'm with you with the Johnny Walker Black. I think I, I think two and a half. I think you know it's a perfectly fine whiskey. Um, I would I would certainly drink it. I I might even give it as much as a three. Yeah, I can All see right. that. So yeah, I mean it really depends on the day. Mm -hmm. um, I I would not shy away from it ever. Yeah. Um, the famous grouse. I'm going to go one on that one. Yeah. I do not like it. No, I'm not a fan, and I'm, I'm a little disappointed because we've had such good luck with them in the past. But this one was a swing and a miss as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, um, it's too ashy, um, it's, and, and, but yeah. not the right kind of ash. Agreed. Yeah, it's not a pleasant ash. It's, yeah. it's thin flavor-wise, and the flavors that do present are just, for me, to not my thing. Wow. Wow. Not the direction I thought that was going. <laughs> I know. I thought Famous Grouse would have knocked this one out of the park. Yeah. They're really, they're, they're great for that. Yeah, we've had the Ruby Cask, which we, that was fantastic. Um, and of course, we've done the Naked Grouse, which Naked is Grouse. another one that is just fantastic. But this one, I've got to say, is a swing and a miss. Yeah. Um, good for Johnny Walker, though. I have to say, coming back to that, especially in the side-by-side, -side, I have a new appreciation for Johnny Walker Black. I, I think so, and, uh, you know, it's a it's a perfectly fine mixer, but it's not bad as, as a, you know, as a neat pour. I have to agree. Very interesting. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. Hope you had a good time. Yeah, we sure did. Thank you. We'll Take catch you on the next one.